It's about the low. Biggie! That's quite 80s, that's to be honest. Now, are you a hard racer? That's 80s, yeah. Probably, probably can't show this t shirt right, 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 right now, but yeah. Anyway, dear boy, what? when are you getting your tattoo? Well, it's already in the work. Sort that one out. Like. Is it oh. bollocks, I can <laughs> tell. Ah, I fucking right. Everybody should have ink on their own. Do you not know how cool it makes you look, man? <laughs> but I. Everybody's got tattoos, man. You, you need tattoos. When I first met Stephen, he didn't have any tattoos, and he, he, he said, because obviously I had tattoos already, and he said he'd had an idea for a tattoo sleeve. I was like, all right, cool. And me liking tattoos and piercings and stuff like that, I kind of slightly encouraged him. Maybe it's my fault. I wanted to tell you for a long time. Um, I never knew what to get or where to get it, and I've watched the evolution of tattoos over the years. And um, and I finally seen this imagery of the Lost Boys. I was just like, right, I'm gonna get it. You found this T-shirt. It was like a cartoon, like a like a collage of the different scenes and different people's portraits. And he was like, how awesome would that be? To have that as a tattoo. Today is the day. I have such a class hangover. I can't even hold the camera straight. It's going to be a long day. And Jade the tattooist and one of our really good friends was like, I would love to tattoo that on you. So that was the start of Stephen's Lost Boys tattoo. It was the first tattoo and it was a bit of an ambitious project. It was one of those things where I think it's talked about a lot, but no one actually comes through with it. So I thought it was going to be one of these, oh, I'm going to come and get this done. Oh, I'm definitely going to come in. I'll come see you next week. And it just never actually occurs. Probably why. It did occur. And steadily snowballed into a bigger and bigger project from that. The pen work? No. <laughs> I wonder why he kept doing it. I think it's about fucking time Monkey got a tattoo. Like, been talking about it for years and years. Imagine him tattoos could just, just do it like this. <laughs> Wham! You do it! <laughs> you ready? Thank you. Sure. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're me! You sure? Yeah. What's this? Are we sure now? What are you, what are you, are you pressing us now? <laughs> Gonna hurt me. The Batman with the black eyes. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do pass out. I do apologise. It'll be more entertaining for the film. Like honestly, like this fucking. No offence to ginger kids, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This woman, this woman comes up and I Shrek the third. I went, I went and checked the computer and all. And this kid was about this high because I told the kid, no, she punched us in the balls. <laughs> Have some control over your kids. Was like Chucky. And then this other ginger kid. And now I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not <laughs> I'm not being funny, right? Fucking bagging on the gingers. Are just I'm not. Like, not this kid obviously had learning difficulties, right? And he comes up. Because ginger. <laughs> You see, isn't it? No, no. He, he walks up to me at the counter. Well, being ginger. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not being ginger. He has two carers with him. Came up the counter and just went straight to me, point blank. Are you blind? I went, no. Are you Chinese? I went, no. <laughs> 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 that was good. Oh, cheers. Cupcakes. We built this city. Oh. <laughs> Phase six. How to eat a muffin <laughs> hole. Mm. <laughs> oh, seriously. <laughs> Jid is really talented and he finds new ways to surprise me with his work, even though he might not necessarily realise it. I try not to tell too much. For those of you who are watching home, I don't know how to tell him. I read the instruction manual this morning twice, so it's okay. <laughs> And that is the Lost Boys tattoo. It's almost finished. It's getting there. It's, I mean, it's gotten a lot now. It's been about six months. No, eight months. Longer? 
I'm still getting tattooed since the first entry. It's been about six months, haven't it? It's been a long time coming. And I haven't passed out yet. You've cried twice. I have not. Twice. What do you mean, cried twice? Cried twice. The bit where you stabbed us in the tit was a different story. Oh, how's it? Yeah, whatever. How's the tat going? Which one? Well, the Lost Boys montage. Oh, you got naked. You're a dick. Fucking hell, that knock. Are you getting this? Yes, I'm getting this. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> How many tits have you done? Let's see. <laughs> what? Fucked up. I'm gonna have to start again. You can't rub it off. <laughs> I've got a travel line in the next room. I've got a travel line in the next room. We'll just start it off. What, start the next arm? Yeah. Get all the way sweet around him? Oh, I would have fucked it up. Just ask him back for the ego, man. What are you looking at? Is that there for? Yeah. Cheers to taxi driver haircut. Making an appearance for the first time. It's an Irish Brazilian. <laughs> I just remember like coming up with new ideas about me tattoo and Jade going, what the fuck man? I am enjoying the project, although the client adapts the project constantly. He's always coming up with new and wonderful ideas. Let's add a lemonade ball. Let's add a car park. Maybe you should have Grant hiding in the bushes. It's a constantly evolving piece and constantly challenging. <laughs> I'm just extra hairy, extra beady. Yeah, extra like ginger for some reason. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, dude. Just doing it from my bald spot. How's it coming along? Just you come in every time you come in. You've got something new that you want added to it, and. It's it's just taken on a life of its own. I'm getting an uh, on the spot original by Mr. Tattoo Jade to fit onto that. It's very spur of the moment. This light totally makes you look ginger. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I'm not banging on the gingers or anything, but look how orange I am. <laughs> oh, dude, that's amazing. I want right? to get more of these lights when we get these lights in my house. Flat. Every now and then he thinks of a new thing to add into it. I mean, one of the vampire faces is going to have pink hair eventually and be me <laughs> and his recent addition to it has a little pumpkin head carousel over his shoulder. Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head is another fine example of the brief being changed constantly with a monkey coming in with ah, an idea. I want a pumpkin head on there. In fact we should put him on the carousel. What do you mean a pumpkin on a carousel? I was going, I want a pumpkin on a carousel and he was just like he <laughs> could totally Freaked out about it. What's your problem? My problem is that you're whinging about me picking on you when you came in and demanded something, so drawing it on spec, it's a lot of pressure. I haven't came in, just in, demanded something, I came up with an idea. No, no work to do beforehand, just comes in on the spot, draw a pumpkin head and the carousel, and films is doing it. I've drawn Mr. Pumpkinhead on a carousel horse. It's, it's what you asked me to draw, in the style that you asked me to draw. Awesome. Alright, it's good. <laughs> Let's see the new addition is Mr. Punk and Head. <laughs> Last Boy's that was brilliant, like, you know, it's a shame like it's a cartoon and not the actual characters and it would look better if it was like the actual characters not in cartoon form. I'm taking the piss team, it's fantastic. Epic. Fucking epic. The only thing we disagree on is the fact that you want to leave it black and red and I want you to add colour, I think it'll fucking look immense. It's going to be a really interesting section on the video. Why is the scene where that colour is the shoulder of purple? I should got better in FA written on your back. <laughs> Just poked him in the eye with the camera. And then uh, after that, um, I wanted Ned in his van. <laughs> How do you word this? So Stephen decides to get Ned in his van, on his arm, a tattoo. And, uh, well, Ned's already had some various colour vans, so he obviously can't pick one that's the same colour as the past one, so he decided to get green. 
It was a uh, so it didn't clash with other things on the tattoo, I think. Yeah. And uh Ned's van broke down sadly round about that time and uh he decided to get a van the same colour as the tattoo. It was bright, bright green. And when I say bright green, you know the nineties Adidas track suits with the luminous neon stripes like that kind of bright green. I should be pleased no one has ever got me tattooed on their arm before. Not even my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so my tattoo is still getting there. It's uh it's getting more and more uh random and crazier by the day. That is the new van there. There's Ned in his van. And there's Ned in his van. It's Ned in his van. Get the fuck off my green van. Nah. Whoa, <laughs> didn't kick the van, you fucker. <laughs> so that's Ned in his van. So that's, that was the final bit I've had done. It's still not finished to this day, unfortunately, but it's getting there. I never ever thought you'd have a tattoo, right? In all honesty, I knew you were a fucking freak. <laughs> I never thought you'd have tattoos, eh, for some reason. <laughs>